My name is Karen Allen, and I have the pleasure of being the Dean of the College of Nursing and Health Professions at Valparaiso University. And on behalf of my wonderful colleagues and myself, it is a pleasure to welcome you to our 2020 virtual recognition ceremony. This ceremony of 2020 has been dedicated to all of the frontline workers fighting COVID-19. I attended the funeral of my cousin in Detroit this week who died from COVID-19. It was a virtual ceremony and encompassed the same emotions felt by many around the world. Emotions of sadness, fear, and loss. However, there were also emotions of gratitude. Gratitude for the care that was given and the leadership provided in the facilities and the work of researchers to fight this disease. There has never been a time in my life when I've been more proud to be a part of the world of healthcare than it is right now. We have indeed stepped up to the plate in so many ways and shown amazing courage, even to the point of giving our lives. It reminds me of the serenity prayer. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change the courage to change the things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. We may not be able to change the fact that the coronavirus is here, but what we can change is the fact that we will beat it and it will be done with courage. Courage experienced at the bedside from healthcare providers taking care of those who are ill. Courage shown by public health workers in the community teaching us how to prevent and battle this disease. Courage, occurring at the scientist's desk, working to develop medications to vaccinate and eradicate. And courage in keeping healthcare staff and supplied with all that is needed through healthcare leadership. This afternoon, I am proud to welcome you, our graduates and you, their family and friends, to a recognition and acknowledgement of the courage already displayed in our students and the courage they will show in the future as healthcare professionals. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for helping these students achieve their success. It was only through your hand that they were able to get through their struggles, find the finances that they needed and work through the studies to become what you have ordained them to be. We pray that you go with them and lead them and guide them and be with us in this ceremony. In your name we pray, amen. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the speaker of our recognition ceremony, our president of Valparaiso University, Dr. Mark Keckler. Hello and good afternoon, everyone. I am really honored to join you today as we celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2020 uh, among our nursing students. And I'm really delighted that so many of you are able to join us today, students, the faculty, staff. Uh, I see family members, children, grandchildren, uh, loved ones surrounding you. And uh, it's just a, a wonderful um, privilege and great joy for me to uh, be with you today on what is truly an historic occasion for the university and for the college. So we're gathered here today virtually to, to uh, honor some incredible accomplishments of a remarkable cohort of nurse, nursing students. Uh, we want to acknowledge the great work that you've conducted at Valparaiso University, the contributions you've made uh, to our community, uh, and we look ahead uh, to the next chapter of your lives. The theologian Dietrich Bonhoeffer once said this, that action springs not from thought, but from a readiness for responsibility. Nurses, physicians, and healthcare professionals around the world have met new and extraordinary challenges head on during these past few months. And they have done so with courage, as Dean Allen so aptly described in her opening comments. And they've done it with compassion, and they've done it with sacrifice and with great love and with leadership ultimately. It is the nurses that are showing us the way forward uh, as we move forward together through some very uncertain times. 
These healthcare professionals have made a positive impact on the world through their work. And as you prepare to graduate from Valparaiso University's College of Nursing and Health Professions, you can be confident in your education and the skills that you've learned to prepare you for the action that your careers are gonna demand of you. Bonhoeffer's words embody the readiness that you have gained as Valpo graduates. The work you will conduct as nurses and advanced practice nurses holds great responsibility as well. You will use your skills to care for your communities, locally, nationally, and globally. You will change lives with your actions. You will save lives, and you will care for those who will lose their lives. No matter the challenges you will face, you must ensure that they do not take away from your passion for caregiving and for healing. Valpo's College of Nursing and Health Professions has a distinguished history of graduating students who are adaptive and collaborative and visionary. And I'm confident that this year's impressive class of nurses at every graduating level will carry on the college's distinguished legacy of excellence. And we are honored to have each and every one of you join our alumni community. You have each benefited from your college and from very dedicated faculty members who have demonstrated through these times their total commitment to you and prepared you well for the future. Reflecting back on your entire Valpo experience, we see that you participated in research and service learning activities and trips all over the world. You've completed uh, internships, clinical rotations, and simulation exercises in our virtual learning center. And you've made lifelong relationships and supportive mentoring professional relationships that are going to last you for years to come. Though your time at Valparaiso University is coming to a close, we trust that your curiosity and your hunger for knowledge and for wisdom will continue well beyond graduation. Wherever your path may take you, we know that you will make significant contributions for the sake of the world. And it's the experiences you've had in this college that will prepare you for that future. So today, together in this place, we celebrate you. We celebrate all that you've accomplished and all that we know you will accomplish in your bright futures and careers. So congratulations to each and every one of our graduates and to the exceptional group of faculty and staff who have made your Valpo experience possible. We look forward to hearing about the extraordinary things you're gonna do in the years ahead. So thank you for the opportunity to join you today and to be able to speak to you. I wish you God's blessings as you continue to lead and serve in all the ways that God will call you to in the future. And from all of us at Valpo, whom you will now leave behind, be blessed and be well. Thank you. Thank you, President Heckler, for that wonderful, warm, and motivating address. We really appreciate it. It was an honor to have you with us this, this evening. And now it gives me pleasure to introduce Elizabeth Brewer, second Lieutenant in the United States Army and senior nursing student as, our, as she gives our student address. Hello everyone. My name is Lizzie Brewer and I'm going to be your nurse today. Today I'm going to educate you on my experience of nursing school. And this should only take about five minutes. If you have any questions, please hold them till the end and thank you for your support. Of course, I had to start off with ADIT, one of the first things we learned in nursing school thanks to our simulation labs. It's crazy to think how far we've come from learning ADIT and therapeutic communication to MIs and labor and delivery. In four short years, we have learned about so many different topics and subjects and now to use this knowledge on the final step, NCLEX. My experience at Valparaiso University College of Nursing and Health Professions has been challenging demanding, but most of all, rewarding. Nursing school is one of the most demanding majors and we did it. We conquered more than 1400 exam questions, 35 plus exams and 500 plus clinical hours. Many will never understand how hard, or how hard nursing school is with all the meltdowns, all nighters, cramming sessions and back-to-back -back exams. We have all bonded with our peers and shared experiences that only nursing students can understand. We supported each other through the endless study groups, clinical carpools, long clinical shifts, and class projects. 
So thank you to my classmates for supporting each other throughout these past four years. One experience I was able to encounter that is a little different from my class was being a cadet in Army ROTC. When I ended high school, I knew I wanted to pursue my dream of being a nurse, but I also wanted to follow in my parents' footsteps and join the military. I was fortunate enough to find a way to do both. In the second semester of freshman year, Jacob Russo, another, tw or another 2020 nursing graduate, introduced me to Army ROTC and explained how I could be an Army nurse. From that moment on, I was hooked. I wanted I worked out every morning, studied battle drills and tactics, went to summer training, and much more to help me become an Army nurse. It was never easy to balance the schedule of being an Army cadet as well as a full-time nursing student. So I would like to thank those who helped me make it happen. Thank you to my boyfriend, Tyler, my parents, my siblings, who offered advice whenever I needed it and support, supported me no matter what happened. Thank you to my wonderful professors who dealt with my schedule conflicts and worked around my busy schedule. Thank you, Mrs. Gifford, for all your help throughout the years, especially with the one or four hours and course conflict and course over overload forms. Thank you, Mr. Pratt of Notre Dame. Uh, he's the one who made the Army ROTC, ROTC nursing scholarship happen. Thank you, class of 2020, for, the, for a wonderful four years. It has not been easy to say the least, and thank you for working so hard and helping each other as much as possible. I wish you all the best of luck with your nursing adventures and congratulations. And finally, thank you to Valparaiso University and Notre Dame Army, Army ROTC for making me a prepared Army active duty nurse and making my dreams come true. Thank you everyone for attending the 2020 College of Nursing and Health Professions virtual recognition ceremony and congratulations class of 2020. Thank you, Lizzie, for that wonderful, wonderful address. Very warm and congratulations. Now we come to the part for where we honor you, but I wanna tell you a little bit about what you will be receiving today before we begin. Recognitions of achievements in health professions education has a rich history dating back to the Maltese cross. The Crusaders wore the cross as a symbol of service to Christianity. Over the centuries, various symbols represented service to a ruler or to the community. Florence Nightingale, a public health worker, social reformer, statistician, and founder of the profession of nursing, had great influence through service during the Crimean War. And because of this, she received royal recognition. In 1856, Queen Victoria awarded Florence Nightingale a brooch for her services in the Crimean War. The brooch was not only decorative, it was a sign of royal appreciation at a time when suitable decorations for female civilians did not exist. Known as the Nightingale Jewel and designed with the supervision of Prince Albert, this brooch is engraved with a dedication from Queen Victoria. And it says, to Miss Florence Nightingale, as a mark of esteem and gratitude for her devotion towards the Queen's brave soldiers. From Victoria R, 1855. The Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas's Hospital in London was the first to design and award a nursing badge with a Maltese cross to nurses when they completed their program as a symbol of service to those in need of care. In the United States, the first such symbol presented to a graduating class occurred in New York City in 1880 and was in the form of a pen. This pen featured a crane in the center for vigilance, encircled by a band of blue for constancy and an outer band of red for mercy and relief of suffering. By 1916, a ceremony of recognition for graduating nurses using some symbol, either a badge or a pin, to honor the service they would soon provide to society had become a tradition in England and in the United States. Eventually, each school of nursing designed and awarded a customized pin. These historical events laid a foundation for the importance of symbolically recognizing educational achievement of all healthcare professionals. Why? because they all contribute to the healing of society in some way. And they all display the attributes of that first pen, vigilance, constancy, 
mercy, and relief of suffering. I want to take a moment to pause here and acknowledge all of the healthcare workers and frontline workers fighting COVID-19 on our behalf. Let's give them a hand. For the recognition of our graduates from the College of Nursing and Health Professions who have chosen to serve those in need in healthcare, we provide you with a pen in brown and gold, the colors of Valparaiso University. It contains the torch and the university motto, in thy light, we see light. Thank you. Like the crusaders in the past, who wore their, their Maltese cross as a symbol of service to Christianity, we hope that you will wear your Valpo pin as a symbol of pride and of your service to society. For purposes of this virtual ceremony, I, Dean Allen, designate to the person of your choosing the authority to act on my behalf and bestow on you this honor and recognition, the Valparaiso Con HP nursing pin. There is a pin for the baccalaureate level, a pin for the master's level, and a pin for the doctor of nurse practitioner level. Graduates, I want you to please note that when your name is called, you will be unmuted. At that time, repeat your name by saying, I am Karen Allen. Once you have repeated your name, you will have approximately 10 to 15 minutes to be pinned. After you have finished your pinning, please remute your microphone. I now invite Professors Raymond, Spain, and Cook to read the names of the graduates. Would the graduates of the Bachelor of Science in Nursing please prepare to be recognized? Megan Adams. I am Megan Adams. Devin Alt. I'm Devin Alt. Abby Anderson. I'm Abby Anderson. Ashley Apperson. Does not appear to be with us. Trisha Ayaya. I am Trisha Ayala. I am Trisha Ayala. Jessica Borelli. Megan Bone. I'm Megan Bone. It didn't, it didn't go on the screen. It didn't go on the screen. Cool. Lizzie Brewer. Hi, Elizabeth Brewer. Michelle Brizard. I am Michelle Brizard. Mm -hmm. 
Jordan Bright. Jordan Buter. I'm Jordan Buter. <laughs> Kristen Bussey. Going once. Teresa Kane. I am Teresa Kane. Talia Cesario. Talia. I am Talia Cesario. <laughs> Emily Clark. I'm Emily Clark. Colin Coburn. Alexandria Colomes. I'm sorry if that was wrong. Emma Congelos. I am Emma Congelosi. Sorry, Emma. It's all right. <laughs> Emma Congelosi. Paige Kuma. Hi, I'm Paige Kuma. Morgan Zernecki. I am Morgan. I am Morgan Zarnecki. I am Morgan Zarnecki. Tara Day. I am Tara Day. Samantha Deal. I am Samantha Deal. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <sighs> Catherine Dodge. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Lauren Drisbicki. I am Lauren Drisbicki. Alexandra Engler. I'm Alex Engler. <laughs> Sydney Ferguson. Sierra Fisher. I'm Sierra Fisher. Ellen Forster. Hi, I'm Ellen Forster. <laughs> Caleb Gast. Hi, I'm Caleb Gast. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. 
Curtis Gear. Hi, I'm CJ Gear. Nice jersey, CJ. Thanks, Raymond. <laughs> Did it for you. Ah, thanks. Maria Gianpetro. I am Maria Gianpetro. Oh. <laughs> Grace Goheen. Grace Goheen. <laughs> Emily Gott. Hi, I'm Emily Gott. <laughs> Catherine Goisich. Hi, I'm Catherine Goisich. Tony Greco. I know Tony's on. Tony Greco? Rebecca Hamilton. Shelby Hevelin. I am Shelby Hevelin. Kayla Hemmingson. Tania Henderson. Hi, I'm Tania Henderson. <laughs> Callie Hench. Hi, I'm Callie Hench. <laughs> Mary Cruz Hernandez. Hi, I'm Mary Cruz Hernandez, or Mari Cruz. Joseph Hines. Hey, I'm Joseph Hines. <laughs> Cheyenne Holt. <laughs> Lucas Hopkins. I am Lucas Hopkins. Yay! Hooray! Woo! Hi, Miss Raymond. Hi. Kerrigan Horn. Hi, I'm Kerrigan Horn. Kylie Horn. Hi, I'm Kylie Horn. <laughs> Michaela Hounshell. Hi, I'm Michaela Hounshell. Go. <laughs> <laughs> <God. Ow. laughs> Haley Rosick. Hi, I'm Haley Horosik. 
I don't know if it works. Okay. Right. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Riley Hull. I am Riley Hull. Congratulations, everybody. I'm turning it over to Professor Spain. Hello, everyone. We're going to try to go backwards a little bit and see if we can get some of those people that were missed. Jessica Borelli. Okay, Jessica, Jordan, and Tony, let's try to get you guys at the end. So we're going to keep proceeding with the schedule. And then IT, if you guys, if you can help me get Borelli, Bright, and Greco at the end, that would be great. Olamide Ibrahim. Olamide Ibrahim. I am Ola Ibrahim. Abby Clamp. Abby Clamp. Ashley Kumick. Hi, I'm Ashley Kumick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> she can see me. She can. <laughs> okay. Abigail Kublarczyk. Hi, I'm Abby Kublarczyk. Paige Crone. Paige Crone. I am Paige Crone. <laughs> Kayla Kruger. Kayla Kruger. Nice. <laughs> Megan Larson. Hi, I'm Megan Larson. Andrew Lasky. I am Andrew Lasky. Jaylene Lazario. Lazaro, sorry, Jaylene. Jaylene Lazaro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa Machova. Hi, I'm Teresa Makova. Cassandra Martis. Hi, I'm Cassandra Martis. Erica Martins. Hi, I'm Erica Martins. Noelle McCord. I am Noelle McCord. Should I do 
Monica McGinnis. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Taylor McKellar. Okay. Oh, you didn't get to see yourself. <laughs> Taylor McKellar. Jermaine Medina. Jermaine Medina. Sarah Mettler. I can't do it. I'm Sarah Mettler. Kaylin Mize. Hi, I'm Kaylin Mize. <laughs> Jessica Mangeras. Hi, I'm Jessica Monjara. <laughs> Hannah Morrison. Carlene Mulder. I am, I am Carlene Mulder. <laughs> Tegan Nelson. Okay. Um, I wanna... Tegan, I see you, but you're muted. Try again. Can you hear me? I can now. I'm Tegan Nelson. Kayleen Norris. Kayleen Norris. I'm Kayleen Norris. <laughs> Heather Oliver. Heather Oliver. Okay, we'll do it again. Can you see us? Yeah, I can see you now. All right, go ahead, Mama. She already did the pin. <laughs> Matthew Pedroza. I am Matt Pedraza. Elizabeth Peterson. Hi, I'm Ellie Peterson. Hannah Pleckner. Hi, I'm Hannah Bosner. <laughs> <laughs> he was saw my face in there and I was like, oh. <laughs> Monet Pryor. Hi, I'm Monet Pryor. I have my BS in and now you have yours. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Jacob Razawire. Hi, I'm Jacob Razavir. Paige Recknagel. I am Paige Recknagel. Woo! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Gladys Reyes. I am Gladys Reyes. Mariel Ringelstein. Mariel Ringelstein. <laughs> Out of here. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Jacob Russo. I am Jacob Russo. Tanya Satowski. Hi, I'm Tanya Satowski. Alyssa Scanlon. Um, Goofy Gooby. Oh. Hi, I'm Alyssa Scanlon. <laughs> Meredith Sharp. I am Meredith Sharp. I am Meredith Sharp. <laughs> Hannah Shreves. Hi, I'm Hannah Shreves. <laughs> Can they do it? There you go. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> Maria Southwell. Maria Southwell. Brianna Spicer. I am Brianna Spicer. We're proud of you. <laughs> Lauren Steele. I am Lauren Steele. Kylie Strasser. Hi, I'm Kylie Strasser. Susanna Volpe. Hi, I'm Susanna Volpe. Caitlin <laughs> Weaver. Oh, I am Caitlin Weaver. Katie Weiser. I am Paige we Weiser. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, it went. Okay. <laughs> we see you. Congratulations, Paige. Thanks. Kaylee Willett. Hi, I'm Kaylee Willett. You won't see this. All right. Natalie Williamson. No. Natalie Williamson. I am Natalie Williamson. Gwen Waller. Gwen Waller. Brianna Zawala. I'm Brianna. Hello, everyone. I'm Brianna Zawala. Oh, Congratulations, Yay. everyone. Amanda Zolstra. Sorry. 
Zellstraw. Hi, I'm Amanda Zellstraw. <laughs> Jessica Borelli. You are unmuted by the host. Okay. Come on, we're here. Are we're you here. Supposed to tap on your screen. Can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us? Jessica. <laughs> I'm Jessica Borelli. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank <Bye>. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't miss that one. Jordan Bright. I am Jordan Bright. Congratulations, Jordan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tony Greco. I am Tony Greco. Finally. <laughs> Catherine Dodge. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, I'm Catherine Dodge. Woo! <laughs> Kayla Hemmingson. Hi, I'm Kayla Hemmingson. I don't know if you can hear me. Congratulations. <laughs> Carrie Cornwell. Hi, I'm Carrie Cornwell. Abby Clemp. Hi, I'm Abby Clemp. All right. Yay. And Taylor McKellar. Taylor McKellar. Hello? Oh, you're, you're good, you're good. Say hi. No, do it, you're unmuted now. Say hi, you're unmuted. Hi, I'm Taylor McKellar. Go. <laughs> well, my mom just paid me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Gwen Whaler. Gwen Whaler. I am Gwen Whaler. Yeah. Yeah. Drake Marshall. Drake Marshall. Sydney Ferguson. Sydney Ferguson. Rebecca Hamilton. Rebecca Hamilton. Anyone that's out there that hasn't got there or that can't 
call their name. I, I made it so you can unmute yourself. So if you're here and I can't find your name, go ahead and, and speak up. Let's start with Drake Marshall. Drake, are you with us? Sydney Ferguson. Sydney Ferguson. Rebecca Hamilton. Rebecca Hamilton. Maria Southwell. Maria Southwell. I think that is all we have for this list. If somebody still is out there and didn't get recognized, um, please send a private message, but we're going to go ahead and proceed in the program. Congratulations, everybody. Okay, moving along, I have the pleasure of introducing graduates of our MSN and DNP programs. Those graduating from the Master of Science in Nursing program were unable to attend this evening's ceremony, but I'm honored to present the following graduates who have earned their Doctor of Nursing Practice degree. So would the graduates of the DNP program please prepare to be recognized. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rita Arnold. I know Rita's on. I saw her earlier. Oh, say it, Mom. Hi, I'm Rita Arnold. It Good just didn't. <laughs> this is my gorgeous daughter, Katie, by the way. Hello. Hi, Katie. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Thanks. Kelsey Berger. Hi, I'm Kelsey Berger. Congratulations. Thank you. Marta Baima. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Marta Baima. Valerie Klein. Valerie Klein. Congrats. Ingrid Cooper. I am Ingrid Cooper. Marissa Culver. Greetings. I am Dr. Marissa Culver. Yay. Woo! Chrysanthemum Davis Larson. Hi, I'm Chrysanthemum Davis Lawson. Sorry about the Larson part, it is Lawson. Uh, next is Kelly Eschenauer. 
Yeah, so I'm just going to pop that. I am Kelly Eschenauer. Right. Good job, Rich. <laughs> Rose Flincham. I know I saw Rose earlier. Rose Flincham. Okay, we may come back to Rose. Tanya Harvey. I am Tanya Harvey. Good job. Princess Lomax. Great job. Okay, Kathy Roberts. No. I am Dr. Kathy Roberts. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mackenzie Shireman. Hi, I'm Mackenzie Shireman. She's growing so fast. Eric Spawn. I am Eric Spawn. Congrats, Eric. Shelby Strong. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelby Strong. Woo! Woo! Congratulations, Mom! <laughs> Great job. Karen Warden Thomas. I'm Karen Warden Thomas. Dr. Karen Warden Thomas. <laughs> there you go. And Jennifer Zamora. Yeah. I am Jennifer Zamora. And that's your little mini me. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> Great. Congratulations, everyone. I just want to make sure that Rose Flincham is not still on the line and we're missing her. So, Rose, are you available? I am Rose Flincham. Yay. Thank you. Congratulations, Rose. And best wishes to all of you. We'll go ahead and turn the program back over to Dean Allen now. Let's unmute everyone and give everyone a congratulations. Yeah, shall we? This was well done. How exciting! How exciting! Our mission is to prepare competent graduates who think critically and work collaboratively to promote health and well being of persons and communities through interprofessional education, scholarship, service, and leadership, informed by evidence and grounded in faith.
Thank you graduates for being the embodiment of our mission. As you go forward in the midst of this pandemic, be confident in the excellent education you have received here at Valpo. The leading you will receive from the Lord and the joy you will receive from your life's work. I wish to thank those awesome folks who planned this for you. Karen Stacy, Julie Ott, Kate Patterson, Jennifer Smolnicki, Rami Moosley, Julie Brandy, Frosini Samus Smith, and Bianca Villarreal. And let's give a special thank you to Brett Vester, who is our IT engineer and did a wonderful job of handling everything for us. Let's give him a hand. Thank you, Brett. Thank you, Brett. I also want to leave this message with you. Julie Ott is managing our Facebook page, and she's asking that in order to showcase she was graduate, she needs you to send her your picture and your post-graduation plans. And so I want to say thank you for taking your educational journey with us. Congratulations. God bless. God be with you. Have a good evening.